Guys, the weird wonder here again today, and to be honest guys, I don't know how to feel about this. We played well, but we've lost 2-0 to Chelsea in the FA Cup fifth round. Nothing that I wasn't expecting. The fans were amazing, there was a great atmosphere. The players in the first half especially lived up and said, you know what, you might be probably going to be the champions of England, but we're going to fight you. And, and we did, you know, we put up a good fight. But now... I, I, I will admit it was good seeing the elephant man in person and it was also good seeing uh, it, according to Paul Merson it's real I am in person as well so it's good seeing some celebrities there but you know we, we really did just lack that bit of quality you saw Chelsea had it you know okay you know I thought at times they were going down a bit too easy and that you know that's the Premier League nowadays it's not just Chelsea it's the Premier League nowadays it's a bit you know the referees a bit like oh this is a free kick this is you know that's referees again you know Mark Kattenberg's crit, crit England refereeing I can see why because England referees are probably the worst in the entire world so yeah but anyway they showed that bit of quality when they went one nil up they just kept that quality showing and we just lacked it a little bit but I was proud of the lads but the problem is is that we're now out of the FA Cup which is probably the exciting thing we were looking forward to and now we are only five points off for drop now yeah five points off for drop and I don't think we've got a game in hand on Wigan so Birmingham at home this Friday is a very crucial if we lose that match that is six defeats in the last seven games and five defeats in the last six championship games and we, we've gone from six wins in ten to still like six wins in thirteen and you know this this month and next month is very crucial because we're playing teams like Birmingham, Huddersfield, Rotherham we need to get points we need to focus on that that's what we need to do we haven't quite done it yet and Lambert's got a few questions on his end. First of all, who do you play in front of that back for? I think Price should be one. Maybe Evans as well. Because at this moment in time, you've got to look. We need creativity in the CDM. We don't need people who can run up and down like Edwards. You need creativity. If Price and, Ed if Price and Evans don't leave that half halfway line, but can get the ball up so that Bod Ross and that can get the ball, then that's all you're bothered about. You know? And, you know, so I think Price and Evans should be there. As I said before, me personally, Edwards should be on the bench, you know? If a match in 70 minutes hasn't gone your way, you need someone to bring on and go, he can get us goals. Dicko hasn't got that, you know? And you can't rely on the young kids, that's unfair on them, you know? You will be building their character, but it's so unfair on them, so Edwards should be on the bench. But, that's just my opinion. You know, others may disagree. I think Conor Rowney should definitely be in the starting lineup. He was absolutely, I've seen him three times. He did come on against Chelsea, but what do you want him to do? Perform like Messi, you know? But he, he's done well every time he's played and he deserves to be in that man and at Bakari as well he's got to play so really your front four could be you know why do you uh, here's another thing as well why, I wonder if changing the formation as well would help because you could have Evans and Price in the midfield or Price and Edwards in that midfield with Ronan on the left Costa on the right and Bod Varson and R uh, Donovan Wilson or Bod Varson and Dick Holt up front you know and just change it up a bit you know because you've stuck to the formation now but fair enough you know we've gone from uh, a, a, a win, 11 games winless to like 6 wins in 10 and now we've gone back again and to change it maybe you need to change formation and 4 4 2 could be the ideal bet that's my opinion uh, Wonder of the Week now guys, I'm going to do Wonder of the Week a bit earlier than usual. It's very hard, I think a lot of Wolves players stepped up to the plate today for a lot of the time. I thought Price did well, I thought Savile did quite alright to be honest. Um, if I had to rate him out of 10 I would give him about 6.57. He hit the post early on, that was a shame, we should hit the post early on, yeah we, we had a very fast start but didn't take advantage. But Costa I think attack of was quite good especially as the game wore on. Uh, especially at the end of the first half but defensively he, he wasn't the best he did track back in that but sometimes he got beat too easily but tiredness and that comes into it as well so I'd have to say wonder of the week this week would have to have been it's, it's very tough this one it is actually very tough hmm. I'm just trying to think who played really well non-stop it's, it's quite hard uh, a, lot, a lot of them did play well I think Baffinaus did well as a partnership. Uh, I thought this, the first goal, you know, was probably a good move and how Smith the first ball. Uh, wonder of the week. I don't know who to do, give it to. Um, I could give it to a lot of them except for Vyman because he was average. Mm, very tough actually. Uh, trying to 
Doherty. I'll give it to Matt Doherty. I thought, I, I've just thought about it. Matt Doherty was good defensively, good attackively. And, you know, we, that, we're just lacking a bit of quality. We need to stay up and then we need to build on a team. And until next time, guys, I'll speak to you in a bit.